Hey, it's Dale again from the WebHub class, and today I'm going to walk you through the process of adding a custom CSS to your Bootstrap site. So I have an example here of a uh, site. I'm in the process of building uh, a hiking site. Uh, you can see I have just some regular content up here. I have an H1 right here. I've set up a navigation system, and then I have a Bootstrap grid system here with the eight columns for content and the four columns for images. So um, I'm fairly happy with this very plain looking site right now, but I want it to look a little bit differently. And so I can go ahead and do that through a custom CSS. Now we do have CSS already attached to this. Anytime you download a template bootstrap uh, theme for better, for lack of a word, or a bootstrap template, uh, it comes with several CSS files already attached to it. So let me just go right here to the uh, Project 3 folder and you can see we have that CSS folder with several already in there. And this is the CSS file that Bootstrap is using for that current site. Again, you do not want to go in here and change any of this because if the author of this uh, template makes a change and you update, you're going to lose all of your customization. So we get around that by just creating a second uh, CSS, and that way we can make changes in that. So first thing you'll want to do is inside Text Wrangler, open a new file, and now we're going to go ahead and save as, and we're going to save this as custom.css, and I want to save it in Project 3, and I want to save it in the CSS folder. So you want to keep everything consistent. So now that I have that in there, again, nothing has changed because one, I have no custom CSS, and two, I have not yet linked this CSS to our home page. So that's probably the first thing I want to do. I'm now in my index.html. Here is the link tag for the current uh, CSS, the template CSS that came with Bootstrap. And you're going to want to copy that and now paste it down there and you want it to tell you want to tell the browser to look in the CSS folder and we named it custom.css so now we're telling it this is the name of our second style sheet and the order of these is very important you want the template one to go first and then you want your custom to go second whatever goes second will override certain areas of the first so I'm going to save this, and when I go to refresh, again, nothing has happened, but that's because we have nothing in our custom CSS. So I'm just going to start randomly adding things. You all know how to add to a CSS. You've built a CSS before. So this should be fairly simple, but let's say um, I want the background color to be black. And then I'm going to do that, and I save. And now it has changed uh, everything on the page because this is overriding the background that was in the original, uh, <clears throat> the original CSS. Now let's go back. So you can go through and make a ton of changes here. Um, just remember, you know how to build CSS at this point. Um, you can go through and, and do just about anything you want here now that you have that knowledge. But I do want to show you something else. Remember, we have all of our content inside this container div, and it's a class, not an ID, meaning we could use this container div multiple times on the same page. So you can also go in and define this container div in your custom CSS to add even more customization. So the way you define a class is with a period and then the name of that class, so it's container. So now if I tell it I want the background color to be white, and then I'm going to save that. Now it has changed just the container div to be white, so this at least looks readable now. So I'm, I'm happier with that. The nav still looks a little weird. Um, you wouldn't obviously wouldn't want this as your complete site, but I could go in here and put uh, margin bottom to be 15 
pixel and let me save that. You can see right now we have nothing at the bottom and now we have 15 pixels at the bottom so that's a nice change.